In this video I'm going to talk about the portfolio slider and if you want to see how this element looks like just go to sliders and portfolio frames. As you can see it's a, a pretty awesome uh, element. It uh, has uh, three uh, frames uh, with images with a nice uh, text and a main and sub uh, a main title and a subtitle uh, general text. You can scroll the images and as you can see they run nicely uh, when uh, when uh, uh, scrolled. You can also swipe, you can hover them. So let me just edit this page with a page builder and I will access its uh, settings. Now as you can see sometimes you have troubles editing the elements so just simply hide the header and make the uh, edit the element. So for the first option is whether you want the slider to be full screen. By default it's no but in case you want it you can have it full screen. I'm guessing there's a small problem here. Um, let me investigate this about that I just had to reload the, the page so as you can see now it's uh, it's a uh, full screen I will just disable this and we can go to the uh, main title the slider description right here and you can specify the sliding direction now you can specify whether you want the horizontal from right. As you can see they will go to the right. And you can also choose vertical. And as you can see they slide to the bottom. So we have three nice effects of uh, sliding. I will leave horizontal from left. And you can also choose whether to have a nice parallax scrolling effect. Now if I just scroll, sorry you have to see this into the view page mode. As you can see they they will just um, they will fade and they will remain into this position while scrolled as you can see now to give you an example how it looks uh, without this effect just hit no publish and let me just refresh this and as you can see no effect whatsoever no it doesn't uh, go uh, to the bottom and uh, no fading effect uh, either so I will access the settings once again so these are the um, the general options you can uh, edit this uh, background right here with um, almost uh, big um, uh, a lot of options to customize it now you can choose an image a self-hosted video or a YouTube video now uh, we have a I have a recorded a video about this uh, uh, these uh, background options which are quite uh, much better explained and these uh, as you probably know these uh, settings are very common common into the page builders uh, elements so I suggest if you want to know more about this uh, these options right here just uh, look at that video and I will explain them more in depth so moving into the uh, items section 
add, uh, tab, sorry. You can see I can add as many uh, as many slides as I want. You can delete them, move them. Uh, I mean, sort them actually. You can clone them, and you can edit their setting. So as you can see, we had this uh, this uh, title right here, and the link. In case you didn't notice, this is the uh, title right here. You can edit the image for the front image right here. You have the left image and the right image. So and that's about it. You can add as many as you want. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And if you uh, have any troubles with this uh, element, uh, Please subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.